My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist. Right, um, it is somewhat ironic that I'm doing this video in the dark because this video is actually about vitamin D and its effects on the heart. And as we all know, we get vitamin D from sunshine. Um, so I'm really, really sorry about this kind of visceral betrayal. Uh, but I get home quite late and I desperately want to talk to you guys. So uh, here it is. All right, so today's video is on vitamin D in the heart. What is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin made in the skin when it is exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D is important for bone health, calcium balance, and immune function. It is also thought to have effects on the cardiovascular system because vitamin D receptors have been found in blood vessels heart muscle, and immune cells. Why the interest in heart health? Because there have been observational studies which have linked low vitamin D levels to high blood pressure, diabetes and metabolic syndrome, coronary artery disease, heart failure, and increased risk of death. These associations raised hopes that supplementing vitamin D might therefore protect the heart. But the problem with this is you have to prove that. You have to prove that correlation equates to causation. So there have been some clinical trials trying to study this, and there have actually been some large randomized trials. One of them was called VITAL, V-I-T-A-L, but there have been others as well. And they have tested vitamin D supplements in tens of thousands of people. And the results have suggested that there is no clear reduction in heart attacks, strokes, or major cardiovascular events from vitamin D supplementation in the general population. In other words, low vitamin D is probably a marker of poor health rather than a direct cause of heart disease. Where might vitamin D supplementation still matter? Well, there have been studies in heart failure. Some smaller studies have suggested that vitamin D supplementation may improve heart muscle function and reduce inflammation in people with deficiency, although the evidence is still not yet conclusive. In hypertension, high blood pressure, vitamin D deficiency is associated with higher blood pressure, but supplements have shown only modest or inconsistent effects. In deficiency states, in vitamin D deficiency states, where you have a severe deficiency, which could equate to less than 25 nanomoles per liter or 10 nanograms per milliliter, it is important to supplement with vitamin D because it helps with general health and may indirectly benefit the heart. In terms of safety, normal supplementation, 800 to, 1, 800 to 2,000 international units per day is generally safe. Very high doses can cause calcium overload, kidney stones, vascular calcification, which may in turn then harm the heart. So for patients, I would summarize as follows. Vitamin D deficiency is linked with a higher risk of heart problems, but large studies have failed to show that taking vitamin D supplements uh, does prevent heart attacks or strokes in most people. It appears that the real benefit of vitamin D is for bone and muscle health. If you're severely deficient, then correcting that may help your overall health and possibly your heart indirectly. But so far, as per the evidence, vitamin D supplementation isn't some kind of magic pill for the heart. In any case, I hope you... Uh, like this video. I would love to hear your comments. Um, of course, with everything, you know, new evidence accrues all the time and changes how we think, so it's worth watching this space. Uh, in any case, because I don't have any sunlight to show you, so no vitamin D, um, uh, I, I'll leave you a picture of these fairy lights that I've put in my back garden to make it look a little bit salubrious and actually give me some light. All right, all the best.